David Dobrik's podcast before Impulsive? Are you fucking kidding me? Do you know why? It's too old to be doing that. Oh my god. I bet you're giving it Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. All right, welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so it's time to clock in. Uh, we're back at the Hollywood Trap House. I know there's a lot of comments coming out of last week. People saying, Mike, you're a millionaire. Why are you in that tiny house? Other people are like, it's cozy. I kind of like it. I'm not sure where the future takes us, but out here trying to keep the patio clean right now. Been sweeping a little bit. It's like living in the favelas, basically, in Brazil. It's a pretty interesting place. Action-packed episode on today's uh, Night Shift. I'll have to even tell you about it. I don't even know what's happening in this one. Wow. Have you seen my house? Look, oh, this is this is cute. Do you like being here better than the other one? Uh, it's better. It must be nice being that rich to be able to get a place like this, right? You <laughs> should, yeah, I got a place. I got, it's about the same size as this. Yeah, you, it would take you days to clean it. Wow. You could fit my bedroom in the hot tub. I guess I did fall off. What's going on with this fucking kid? Banks? Yeah. I told you this, brother. It was up till six o'clock in the morning. There was like 30 girls here. And then you're calling me saying, you gotta have them up by one? He Apparently knows. he doesn't. He knows. I talked to him this I just, morning. I just walked in his room and got flashed by a pair of fucking double Ds. Just go get the motherfucker up. Two <laughs> years I waited for you to do the Impulsive oh, Podcast. Bro. Two years. Every, no, stop. Every fan. Where's Banks? Where's the Banks episode? Logan, I'm telling you, Banks is gonna come on the show. He's not gonna ditch us this time. David Dobrik's podcast before Impulsive? Are you fucking kidding me? Do I know why? He just got wrapped up in an NFT scan. I had to go handle it. It's no excuse! What is the deal with this place? What is this place? It's just my house. It's the first time I've ever had my own house. No strings attached. No Aiden Ross. <laughs> no Aiden Ross. No rice gum. All right, listen. Nine months ago, you told me, get an eight, get a punk. Did I listen? No, obviously not. I'm tired of not listening, yeah, man. Last tired. week, eight coin drop. You People made hundreds. How much you get? Smooth half of them. <laughs> I want to buy ape right now. Let's on the it. night shift. I want to make a splash. I want to make some fucking it. noise. You own the IP for it, so you could start a cannabis company with this ape. Well, I'm going to start a cannabis company. I'm a drug addict. You can start a burger shop. Board ape burger club. Now we're fucking talking. I'm going to probably drop like upwards of like 700k. Is that your budget? Yeah. 700,000 dollars? Yeah. Do you have that much crypto even? No. She's the worst, by the way. Listen, listen. <laughs> Living with Mike, dude, it got to the point where I was like, dude, shut the fuck up. I'm not talking to you about crypto anymore. Wake up. See ETH Banks? It's down like a point. <laughs> <laughs> you just be in the kitchen making a fucking peanut butter and jelly like, see ETH? <laughs> Stop. So no, I don't have the ETH, but I do have a friend who has capability to make things happen. Ivan, as you know, Moonpay. This dude is plugged in with all the biggest ape holders, all the biggest players in the NFT space. We'll make this really speedy, man. I think the idea is we find that ape that you really want, we send you an invoice, you pay that invoice, we transfer that ape to you, and boom, it's yours. It's, it's, a, it's a tough day to buy an ape, right? Like That's what everybody fucking says. screaming, this is a calm. No, oh, it's not, because this, this is scary. my movie. fucking house and I'll freak out. <laughs> we have rules in this house, you have your fucking shoes on, you're being disrespectful. So does everyone, you have your shoes on. Ivan's a lot, I'm a lot. <laughs> Me and Ivan have been through this before and there's like considerable ape holders, especially when you're shooting at like the top because you're going for like a good ape. So lean on your guys' relationships. Do it. 100%, yeah. We got to go to the market independently. This is a good friend of ours. He's one of the biggest ape holders in the world. What's going on? How are you, man? You good doing? to meet you, bro. Well, it's good to meet you guys. This is exciting to be a part of this. You know, I have a trippy captain's hat. This is the ape he's talking about right here. Yeah, he's pretty, man. Trippy's a fucking vibe. Trippy obviously means something to me. I've definitely yeah. spent enough time tripping in my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> if he's willing to let it go at a kind of friends and family rate because of his relationship with you, then it makes obviously makes sense to me. I just want to make sure that I get the best possible value. Yeah, I wouldn't really present this opportunity to anybody. I don't have any of my apes listed on the marketplace. It's Pull not, the fucking trigger. Done. Pull the trigger. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want Jimmy to change his mind. Send me an invoice, Probably. and I'm finally in the club. That's it. And the <laughs> You're cool now. <laughs> Dallas, hey, Texas, yeah. WrestleMania. Yo, is it true that you're going off the top rope? 100%. Dave, you better be filming. What? When I go off the top rope, you don't even know. Tune in, Tokyo, Dave. I don't know what a top rope does. <laughs> Dave doesn't even know <laughs> Okay, so I get on top of the ring, rope. and then I jump off on the top rope. Oh, yeah, I know what that is. <laughs> so you're going to slam onto someone else's body. Yes, yeah. correct. Yeah. <laughs> Big body slam. And not just anyone. A James Charles. James Charles. Oh, James Charles. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Is he going to Guess what? 
I'm a little late to the party, but yesterday I bought a board ape. Actually? Yeah. How much? 220 ETH. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, bro. I know. That is so much fucking money. I didn't bro, that's know. like that's like 700k. What are you buying? Oh. It's a fucking monkey. I'm just kidding. I got bored apes. Yo, welcome to the club. Let's go. <laughs> it's a blue chip NFT. It's here to stay. Community strong. The branding strong. It's a part of culture. I think it's a good buy. One day, Logan Paul will have a monument like this in Cleveland, where he's standing there like this. Look. <laughs> Look. If there's ever a statue of me, I want you guys to rip it to the ground. Oh, this guy really is. George, whatever his fucking name is, Benham. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's almost That's like you read it off the fucking wall, dude. For whatever reason, we're literally going directly to the place where uh, the president of the United States was was once sadly shot. That's the height of the tree. Wait, tell tell these guys. I tell them about it, but I ain't gonna let them film this whole paper. This is what I sell. If he got it on film. Well, how about this, brother? Here's a hundred dollars. Okay. Will you tell us now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get a full tour now. <laughs> this your motorcade route, guys, here. When they got him inside the Noah, which is here, this is two X's. This for two people. This is Governor Conley and JFK. They're gonna hit both of them like this at the same time. All right, last question before we're run over by those people. Show the people. <laughs> Did the shot come from the window or from the grassy knoll? Grassy knoll. Defense. Come on, guys. All right, shoot. That's awesome for you guys. <laughs> a lot of you guys watching this obviously weren't alive. I wasn't even alive. I was born 30 years after it happened or so. But that moment when JFK was killed on that street was like the most life-stopping moment in American history. Like some people say even more than 9-11. Every person who was alive when that happened, I believe it was in 1963, remembers exactly where they were when JFK was shot. We saw it, but not exactly in the way that I would have liked to. But anyways. Uh, I think some people would say you were alive in the 60s. Some people would say that I was was alive in the 60s, David. It's a good point. I see jokes like that all the time, but in fact, I was born in the 40s. Oh, so they're 20 it, years too late. More sense now. Anyways, little historical moment here on the night shift, and now we'll get back to the absolute complete and utter bullshit. This room smells like semen and old man ejaculation. Yo, let me tell you something real quick. Audience loves Jeff Wittick. A couple weeks ago, they were like, the Mike and George duo, it can't be stopped. Now they're 100%. Jeff, Jeff and Mike, Jeff. Do something funny. Do I can't, I can't because I, I was the something. one commenting Jeff too. I was the, <laughs> I'm a big fan of Jeff. Bro, he's a criminal. What do you want me to say to him? He'll come and attack me. He kidnapped the dog on Runyon and then and then tried to beat up the owner. How am I gonna compete with that? He went to the pin. I've never gone to the pin yet. The pin? The pit, that's what the, the hood rat say. No, they call it, it's the pen. It's a bowling. Is it pen? Bowling. Yes, it's, it's pen. pen? <laughs> like a pen? No. Like penitentiary, the pen. I oh, love you because I, I thought love it was a pin. Like, you look at these pinheads in here. Get out, little pigs, before I huff and I puff. Why don't you finish it? Because I didn't think it was funny. The people like Jeff, let's be honest, but they love you because they, they think, by the way, that you're like a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? I want some. Uh, I don't know what's happening. All right, so Jeff is better, clearly. <laughs> like, let's be honest. <laughs> so we're at this place called Burger Im. Burger I'm. Burgerum. I don't, Burger Rim. But there's, what are you doing right it's now? It's a tradition, I always eat fries, Stop. you yell at me. This Stop. is the thing, we do this Stop. all the time. Stop, you're gonna piss did me Did you or did off. you not say that Jeff is better than me? This was really one of the only moderate speed places that I could find in fucking Dallas. Why, this do, you, is, why do you eat it backwards, by the way? I've always wanted to ask you. It, it's my thing. People th have reasons for it. They think it's because this side of the bun is thicker and it absorbs it. I don't fucking know. This is the Angus burger. It's their main offering, Angus. Not prime, not fucking, you know, Angus, American cheese, lettuce, tomato, house sauce, pickles. Nothing really special going on here. It kind of looks like shit. It kind of looks like trash, wow, I'm gonna be honest. guys, this is still food. Also, the really yellow fries. I've, I've had these on the show before. All right, burger, I'm... Cheers. Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> like a they fast food, it. like, like they yeah, the burger, like it's not crispy yes, correct, at all. Correct. It's like they soft what Five Guys was doing. You know why they call it Five Guys? Why? Five brothers. They made it. You know who made that? One discounted brother. <laughs> he was Child. adopted. He's like, guys, come on, please. It can be six brothers. They're like, get out of here. You don't know how to make burgers. He's like, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna make a burger. <laughs> it is fast food. That's the only way. I'm gonna try these yellow fries. The fries are pretty fire. These are good. These taste kind of like McDonald's. Why are they so yellow? Like I said, I know I did Dallas a disservice here. I had people throwing a bunch of restaurants out to me. I like to get these chains done because you guys can go to them. This is the first burger that's 
I don't want to finish. I think Whataburger might be better than this. I reserve zero to three for a, a complete and utter disaster. If somebody gives me a burger that has dog shit on it, I'll give it a one. I gotta say burger I'm I'll give it a 4.2. Oh, what a gangster. We just landed in Miami Beach. Right now we're about to do a podcast with... Can I tell him, Jeff? When does it come out? We're about to do a podcast with Jorge Masvidal. As you guys probably know, Nelk had Colby Covington on just after that episode. Jorge Masvidal allegedly beat the living shit out of Colby Covington on this street that we're over right now. Also, one of the first things I noticed when I got off the plane just now was I had this! Board Ape Yacht Club number 9049. Instead of the floor trippy hat, I ended up getting the cheetah fur. Ivan was able to negotiate with Jimmy ETH for this one, which I fucking love. It's so dope. But one thing that's not fucking dope is this invoice that they just sent me for $719,000. Uh, anyways, I'm now the owner of a Board Ape. Congratulations. Congrats, Mike. That's cool. That's cool as fuck. Bro. Thank you. Wait, Mikey. What? You should list it on Liquid Marketplace. <laughs> So shout out to Ivan and shout out to Moonpay for helping me find that, negotiating it at an awesome uh, value, awesome price for me. Thank you so much to Jimmy E. Thank you so much to Banks for helping me pick it out. Now we have to go do a podcast with Jorge Masvidal, which is crazy. And Logan's probably going to get in a fight with him. Don't. <laughs> also, wait, don't hang up yet. I got one more thing to say. Thanks so much for working late with us. We're clocking out. Peace. Look at this guy taking care of his fans. <laughs> Bye. Bye See ya. God bless America. Listen, dude, they found out how big my dick is. Run, hurry, hurry. <laughs> what are you doing with your eyes? What are you doing with your eyes? What am I doing with my eyes? supposed to be awake. Why are we doing this? <laughs> what the fuck? I thought we were going to the gym. What the fuck happened? One day we'll be the mayor of this city. You want to be the mayor of Texas? Texas is a state. Okay, Dallas, you want to be the mayor? <laughs> what? Why? What?